Hey guys, it's me Holly, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming a What's in my pencil case 2019 slash stationery haul. Um, this is just all the stuff for my year and year nine. Um, it's not just stuff in my pencil case, it's also other stuff that I'll be putting in my bag. Unfortunately, my bag isn't here right now because it's being shipped to my house and it hasn't come yet. So we're still waiting, we're hoping it will come before school starts. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get on with the video so it doesn't take too long. So yeah, let's get into the video. Even if the sun goes down on you, you gotta keep that shine on top, yeah. So the first thing I need to show you is the pencil case. Um, so at first, this wasn't going to be the pencil case. I went through a lot of pencil cases just to see which one was good. So at first, I had this um, one from um, Sainsbury's. Now it has my coloured pencils in it. Um, but it just didn't fit anything in that I needed. Then I got this Primark makeup bag, which could still be my pencil case. Um, because I love Friends and it's just really cute. But... This one is way more practical, even though I'd prefer a different design, but it's really cute still, and it feels really nice. And to be honest, it doesn't bother me what's on it. I, I got it two years ago at Christmas from like a family friend, and which means I don't know how much it was, but the Primark makeup bags are four pound, just saying. Uh, but yeah, this is just way more practical. It has two compartments, which means I can kind of put them in different sections, which means like the rubber won't get any pencil on it like because you know when you put them together it could get some pencil on it which is not good so yeah I've separated it into two different compartments like this is like the pen pencil section and then this is just anything else let's go into the first compartment I'm going to show you which is going to be the back one because it's easier to show you the front one has a lot more space in it as well but yeah so also it has quite a lot of room anyway because once you unzip it you can kind of pull it back which is cool Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this Casio calculator, just a normal scientific one that you need for school. Um, I don't know if all UK schools need it, but I definitely know my school wants you to have it um, because when you're in exams and stuff like the end of year assessments and doing the calculator in the maths test, you really need this because it has everything you need on it. It's lasted me two years. Um, and it's gonna last me for how long I need it to last me for hopefully if I don't break it But people have managed to make it last so I'm really hoping I will because I normally take good care of my stuff The next thing I'm gonna show you is this pencil sharpener. It's just this nice red color It's like a pinkish red, but it looks more red in the in my iPad, which is the camera um, It's just I prefer to have a little storage space at the bottom so I don't have to go up in front of the whole class to get to the bin because normally it's in front of the whiteboard in my classroom so personally I would go for one with a little storage space underneath it and this was from the works um, for £1.50 I think but it is really good because the last pencil sharpener I had used to break my leads um, I tried this as you can see and it is so much better and so much like so much better quality as well. So the next thing I have is this little um, stapler, which is nice and pink. Um, and it's really cute, it's really small, which I love. And also when I have double-sided pieces of paper, um, I prefer to staple it instead of gluing like a little line up the top and sticking it on. So yeah, um, I really recommend these. Also, um, it was £2.50 and I got a thousand staples with it. I cannot remember where it's from, which is really upsetting, but it's really cute and I reckon you can find the one anywhere, hopefully. The next thing I have to show you is this 30 centimeter ruler. I think it's 30, yeah, 30. And basically I've needed a 30 centimeter one for ages. I got one of those bendable, like shatter, like the bendable flexible ones. It was just way too big and I had to put it in my bag and reach in my bag every time to pull it out. And that was just too much stress. And, um, I just thought, I was looking for one of these snapper wall ones for ages, and I know they sell them everywhere, but I just hadn't got one yet. But now I have one, and I love it, and it was from the works for £1 or £1.50. And, and the last thing I have is rubbers, which I put in the other compartment so the pens wouldn't, pen, pens and pencils wouldn't draw on them. So let's go to the front pocket, which is really cool, my favourite section. So the first thing I have are these pastel highlighters. Um, I actually, abs I absolutely love them, like, 
just a look at these colours. Um, they were £1.50 in one of, you know when like towns have specific shops for that town, like nowhere else has that shop? I think that was what the shop was, but I can't really say the name else, so it might give away where um, whereabouts I live, so, you know, I can't really say that. But, yeah, they were £1.50 in a shop, and that is so good, because I know the Diablo ones are like three to six pound or something but yeah these work really well and also the tip of it is like really good because it's you can write with it on that side and also highlight so yeah and i prefer the thin ones as well right the next things don't really need explaining but i've just got a green and red pen for marking because i prefer to use my own instead of using instead of using the teacher's chewed up old ones that are disgusting so yeah i've got my own then i just have three pencils because you gotta stay organized and then obviously i have pens so these are paper mate ballpoint ones i got them off amazon for one pound 54 uh they came in a pack of 10 and um i thought these were the ink joy ones but they're not but they still have really good ink and stuff and they're really small so you can fit loads in. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love them. That's all for the pencil case. Let's get on to the other stuff. So the first thing I would like to show you are these revision cards. So I got these from the works uh, for £1. I know in WH Smiths they are more expensive than that. But I think they're like £2 something. Because I did get them last year. But as you can see, these are way bigger. These only have 50 in. These have 100 but like, I've still got some of these left, so technically I might still have a hundred, so yeah. Also, I was thinking, like I could put the smaller ones in my pencil case, like these are still fair, but like I could save these ones and like put the smaller ones in my pencil case, so if I wanted to make some flashcards during class, then I have the flashcard things. Right, the next thing I have to show you is this school work notebook I have, and it just has different tabs. There's only three tabs. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this for like core subjects or something because like why not like core subject revision so English, maths and science because there's three tabs. Just a nice blue one it was from Poundland I think for one pound <laughs> for one pound obviously um, and yeah I know Poundland does such good and cute stationery for like a pound which is so good. I really want to go back there, but like I kind of can't spend any more money because I spent a bit too much. So the next thing I have to show you are these paper slash cardboard folders. These, you know when you get those paper ones that like can break really easily? These really don't feel like that. They feel way more sturdy and like, I don't know, and they feel really nice. And they were £1.50 for five, so I've just got French, history, math, science english of these and then for my other three subjects even though i'm doing another four which is pe but we don't need one of these for them i have um three plastic wallets they are one pound 13 in sainsbury's it sounds a bit more expensive than these but like they are way more they are better quality than these i'm gonna put dance health and social and re in these three the last thing i have to show you is this little academic oh got something on it academic planner i bought this like ages ago halfway through the year and i didn't realize it was only for when school starts like next term like school starts again so um yeah i have it and i'm just gonna write like it's easy to put my bag because it's small and it was from uh, Home Bargains for like 59p or something which is really good. So that is all I have to show you. If you did enjoy please leave a like or subscribe. As I did say I might change my pencil case but if I do you'll probably see in my what's in my backpack video that I'm going to film when my backpack gets here. So anyway thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.